me. Uh, I, I can be interrupted at any point of time. Only thing other uh, the I, I, the administrators have to interrupt and tell me whether uh, sometimes because of the low frequency it doesn't uh, move. Uh, very good afternoon to one and all. Uh, I'm immensely delighted to be part of this FDP on interdisciplinary research and uh, teaching, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In fact, uh, after retirement, uh, I am keeping myself away from the academic uh, activities. But nevertheless, when an, uh, when an invitation came from Ms. B. Madam, and also uh, uh, I, 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 I could not uh, refuse. So I had to honor her request, and that is why I am uh, part of this FDP. This is the first reason for me joining, uh, participating in this FDP. The second thing is uh, I will be meeting at least around 50 to 100 uh, uh, young scholars otherwise young teachers. So my own teaching fraternity, especially from the law, law fraternity. So that is also, uh, uh, that, is, that means it's a meeting place. Therefore, I thought, I, uh, uh, officially if any, any, any invitation comes, normally I ignore, I don't even respond to it officially because no more, I am, I am not holding any office. So if somebody calls me over phone uh, by, uh, by, by way of friendly approach, et cetera, et cetera, I will consider, depending upon the person from whom the invitation comes and whom I am going to address. So these two things I keep in mind and uh, I oblige sometimes. And in this connection only, I am immensely delighted to be part of this FDP, especially uh, from the Quota M MG University. Uh, the, the invitation came from Bismi Meda. And also I thought FDP is very close to me because 30 years we have been in the, in the, in the, in the teaching field. And we just want to share our experience. You will not get it in any books. And moreover, if it is research uh, from Kashmir to Kanyagumri, uh, like international art, there are a lot of myths about uh, research. Therefore, I take this opportunity in order to, uh, to uh, I take this opportunity to explore certain myths regarding research and also enlighten you on interdisciplinary research in both in legal research and teaching. So in this aspect, uh, we, sh we should appreciate uh, that that is why I have given you the topic uh, uh, twice I have spoken earlier. Pondicherry University also invited me, the School of Law Pondicherry Inver University. So there also I gave, but one, one thing is there they gave me only one hour. Therefore, I could not give any, uh, they could not uh, explain certain things. So I have to give only the bare uh, principles, share the bare principles. But now I am happy that I have been given two hours. And I also, uh, earlier, I, I used to be uh, one of the resource persons in, more, in almost all the South Indian uh, UGC centers. So that time they'll, they'll ask me to take class from 2 to 2.30, 15 minutes break, then uh, 2.45, I'm sorry, 3.30 and 3.45 uh, to 5, 5 o'clock or 5.15. So I asked, I asked the Bismarck Madam whether there is a break. Uh, they said, no, no, sir, continuously you have to take from 2 to 4.30. Uh, the entire period is break for the students. They can anytime join and they can anytime leave. Therefore, it is it is it is uh, uh, the entire time is for them free. It is only the professor resource person cannot take any uh, even go for uh, it cannot take any break continuously as to speak for uh, two hours etc etc. So I'll be I'll be uh, speaking on interdisciplinary research, nature and scope in law teaching and research. That's the same topic which I shared a couple of months back, uh, that, uh, that is Pondicherry University. But nevertheless, every time I, 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 pre I prepare my PPT afresh and I, I try to put in uh, fresh thoughts, put in fresh inputs, etc., etc. Accordingly, morning I prepared this slide and therefore uh, I think it will be useful for, 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 for all of us. So now, uh, law teaching and research today, that is we have to understand. The, the, because I, I still remember when I was taken to first standard, my mother took me to uh, uh, the first standard teacher, a, an elderly uh, person, a good-natured, lovely, lovable person, and told uh, told her, uh, year and after, he is not my son, he is your child. Beat him, pinch him, whatever you want, make him a good student or make him a good citizen. That was the thing. Nowadays, uh, nowadays we cannot even uh, stare at the student. We cannot scold, we cannot stare, and like that. So that is why there is there is a seaside change 
in the law teaching as well as research today. So we, we will say it. The changing dimensions generally, as I told you earlier. Now, when I was a student, I was I was I was a student and my professor was a professor. So we used to wait for two hours, three hours uh, in in the in the professor's chamber. Then he will call us whatever it is. So that time uh, I was that was that was a student. That is student professor relationship, student teacher relationship. And when I joined the uh, teaching, and after some time, after one decade of my teaching, it became customer and uh, and, and, and uh, the, the it was consumer and a service provider because of the uh, advent of many private colleges, private uh, uh, many fees have been increased. So they became customers. We are paying for it. Therefore, you have to deliver your good service. Service that is, we are rendering service. So they are consumers of service. So now in the 21st century, and big thanks to COVID and other things. Today, uh, it is the, the, from the student we have moved to customers. From the uh, consumers, from the consumers we have moved to customers. So now, I, 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 earlier the student used to wait for me. Now I have to wait for the student. When they are coming, only I have to take classes. So that is a, that is the attitude, mentality of the of the of the uh, uh, of the students. And earlier we were asked to uh, not to lose eye contact. We have we have been pedagogy, teaching pedagogy, etc., etc. Now. Uh, and uh, we, we have to control the class, manage the class, etc., etc. So earlier, when I was when I was first joined in Madras, in Madras Law College, so they asked me to manage the class. So that that is what in a government law college like Chennai, uh, earlier days in 19 uh, later part of 90s. So we have to manage the class for 50 minutes. So we will go. I um, it is only the class is for 50 minutes. So we will go 10 minutes late. Students will come. We'll take attendance. Half an hour or 25 minutes, we'll, we'll take some class. Then again, late commerce attendance. Then the classes will be over. So we were just managing the classes, not teaching anything. So that is what most of the time the students won't come. They'll come late only for the attendance. So now, but but nowadays it is not so. Uh, we have five years classes, three year classes, etc., etc., and we have various law schools, etc. There is a paradigm shift in the in the law teaching also. So the teaching has now become. Uh, the, based on the, uh, you have to select your teaching methodology based on the institution where you teach. Suppose you are teaching in a private colleges, suppose you are teaching in a law college, uh, private law college or government law college or law school. Accordingly, you will be, you, you will be, uh, you will be either uh, semester or trimester, etc., etc. You have, you have to, uh, uh, you have to frame the syllabus, uh, teach this, uh, cover the syllabus. And also finish the syllabus, set the question paper, value the paper, and publish the results. No time for research, no time for personal works, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So institutions also there. You have to grow along with the institution. As I told you earlier, students, earlier three years students were there, a uh, little matured, and also at the same time little bit mature also. So we have to talk about the students and the subjects. Uh, already we know personal law, public law, private law, based on the subject, whether I'm teaching public law, whether I'm teaching private law, or I'm teaching personal law, based on that, I have, I have, to, I, I, I have to prepare my, uh, my lecture, etc., etc. So now, uh, the methodology, uh, normally we never used to have a, one single methodology. Uh, even in pedagogy, we said, a talk and chalk method, earlier lecture method, case study method, don't, go, don't depend only on lecture method, go for... Uh, case study method, go for PPT, go for uh, th those times we did not have power, uh, computers, etc. We used to have the slides, etc., etc. So audio visual, not only one particular methodology, you have to not only uh, talk and chalk method, you have to go for uh, the case study method or uh, visual aids, etc., etc. So that is why we have already from the from the uh, from three decades ago itself. From the uh, from uh, since three decades, we have been using in uh, uh, emphasizing this not one but combination of two or more methodology. We, we have to we we have, we have, we have to follow. So depending upon the law, whether it is a personal law or a public law or private law, we will be doing it. And also depending up on the subject which we will be dealing, whether, whether that, that is when the particular subject, even among the uh, public law, if it is a constitutional, if it is a criminal law. Then, depending upon the subject, we we'll have to deal with particular things, and also similarly, research. Also, what type of research I am I am indulging? So we we have to know the kinds of research. 
we have to know that uh, the, the methodology of research, then it will be useful for to pursue our research in a successful manner. So now, uh, new challenges in the 21st century. Why we are, we, today we are talking about interdisciplinary research. The topic is very new. So it is only gained momentum after 1970s. So after 1960s, three important things contribute. The three important contributions came from American jurisprudence. One is sociological jurisprudence, feminist jurisprudence, and also social action litigation. Now to, today we are calling it public interest litigation. Three, three developments in the legal field, uh, the Americans and also American realism, uh, that is realism, what we, uh, what, 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 what we propose within the four walls of this court what is, what is what you call law, that is what American realism. So American realism uh, and also sociological school of jurisprudence, feminist jurisprudence and also public interest litigation, all these uh, are, 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 are developed only after 1960s or 1970s. Similarly, the, con the concept interdisciplinary research also gained the momentum only after 1970s. So what is the reason? Because of the new challenges. And uh, what is the difference between 1970s, uh, that, is, that is later part of the 20th century, and we are in the 21st century, we, we will say it. Now the changing dimensions of concepts and definitions. So 1960s, uh, the, the word de development sim simply meant uh, uh, economic development. So new international economic uh, policy, industrial development. Development means only economic development. That's all. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Today, even even human rights were considered to be. Today, we, we say the focal point of human rights is the, uh, development. So that is that is all that is also there. And uh, that, that is you, you develop the individual, then the uh, society will develop. That is the uh, that is uh, American uh, the Western oriented. Uh, individualistic uh, uh, first generation human rights you you develop the uh, society in turn uh, the individual will develop that is what we call second generation human rights otherwise economic and social cultural rights etc etc so the focal points of human uh, human rights is uh, is development so today we are talking about overall development a holistic development so that is why today we don't see that dichotomy between first generation human rights second generation human rights which is superior civil and political rights or economic and social rights. These uh, unnecessary academic, they, they have become academic exercise, not doesn't have any practical uh, uh, practical meaning or etc. That is why today the, uh, the, the Supreme Court is also reading, frequently reading without hesitation, part four into part three. So part four, unenforceable culture, un so social, uh, social and economic cultural rights have been now given uh, the status of fundamental rights and they are being enforced. So that is why the, there is a paradigm shift with reference to uh, the understanding of the word development. So now after 1986, overall development, and today we are talking about sustainable development, development not at the not at the cost of future generations. Sustain, sustainable development simply means development of the present gener generation without affecting the ability of the future generation to uh, develop. That is what we call intergener intergenerational EQT or whatever it is. So the definitions also keep on changing. With reference to, I'll, I will give you the ex example. For example, uh, if you are talking about uh, the social science, uh, the, the definitions in social science and the definitions in life sciences or in, in other sciences, uh, we can see the difference. Uh, the, the, the definitions are of two kinds. One is illustrative definition. Another one is exhaustive definition. So in social sciences, normally we refer to, uh, only we mean exhaustive definition. And in, in, uh, uh, in the social sciences, most of the concepts, definitions are illustrative definitions. So we, we know pretty well, being a student of law, always the second section of any law deals with the definition. And if a definition goes like uh, using the word, it is like uh, means, etc., etc., definitely it is illustrative definition. For example, human section 2D of Human Rights Protection Act 1993 says what is it? Human rights means that means it is illustrative definition. So the because the social concepts keep on changing depending upon the development of the society and depending upon the time and depending upon the education, uh, educational improvement or educational overall progress, overall de uh, development based on that, the concepts also keep on changing. So that is why changing di dimensions of concept, uh, definitions, and we, we normally we, we call it as a 
new legal order or whatever it is. Sometimes we in international level, we call new world order and we are talking about new legal order in the 21st century. The 21st century era of LPG, liberalization, privatization and globalization. It is an era of trade, economics, open market, sustainable development and we need holistic approach, etc., etc. So that is why we are in the 21st century, the era of LPG, today we are talking about several things. Digital, uh, digital economy, we are talking about digital economy. We are, we are, we are talking about uh, uh, overlapping of uh, same private, uh, private laws. For example, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the data protection bill is overlapping with the AI Information Technology Act. So that is what the, the, we are, some jurisdictions are overlapping. Because of that, we are, we are talking about forum shopping, forum convenience, et cetera, et cetera. So that is why we should have a holistic approach. And with reference to 21st century also, technological revolutions or evolution, you may call it. So biotechnology, IPR and human rights, that, that concept is that. Today also, we are talking about the vaccines, whether vaccines should be given patents or waiver of patents must be there. Oh, in the in the in the in the in the in the light of COVID pandemic, uh, ongoing COVID pandemic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, IPR and human rights concept, and uh, biomedical uh, uh, science. That is why we are talking about surrogacy. We are talking about uh, the female and then the female uh, feticide, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and also surrogate, and also in, in uh, the the artificial reproductive technology. And based on that, what are the legal consequences? Whether the womb can be the, the the organ transplantation act, whether they can be commercialized or not, whether the the surrogacy must be commercial contract, whether how how far it can be regulated, and what is the right of the genetic material of the parents, or biological parents, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Again, IPR issues are coming up. All these things. It's not one thing, but we have to see in many angles. Many 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 perceptions have to be uh, uh, used. Now, information technology. In all ways, every, everywhere it is information technology. Uh, it is it is with reference to our data protection, our privacy, uh, e-commerce, e-judiciary, e-governance, everything information technology. So they, they we have to uh, we have to we have a fresh look with reference to existing uh, uh, concepts. For example, if you are talking about e-judiciary, e-filing. So in the COVID the thing is uh, video conferencing. In the because of the video conferencing, what are the difficulties? All these things we, we have been we have to we have to understand and, and also find a solution for that particular point. And, and and lastly, but not least, artificial intelligence. So face recognition, drone drone attacks, and also that it violates our privacy. It violates our human rights. Whether it's it is it is a ethically valued. Now, on 29th, I I will be chairing a session international conference on IHL new warfare. It's now we, um, mainly we will be focusing on drone attacks that is what so the, then uh, that the, uh, who is responsible for that particular drone attacks artificial intelligence and whether we, whether if a artificial using artificial intelligence, any new invention has been invented uh, who will get the patent right whether the uh, artificial intelligence who uh, some mishaps happens from some accident occur what will happen who will be responsible all these questions we we have, we have to find answers so this is what Normally, we say in a mood court, mood court is problem is from a naughty area, gray area, where the where the law is evolving, etc., etc. So these things we have to keep in mind. And what is research? Because uh, uh, being a uh, speaker on the first day, I know a galaxy of speakers are there. Very legal luminaries, seniors to me, like Ishwara Bhatt, Professor Ishwara Bhatt, my contemporaries, like uh, my, 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 my juniors, my students are also there. So uh, one thing, one advantage of being a, a first speaker is uh, he, he can take liberty. And that is why it, it is right, uh, writing a thesis. You can write anything. So but, but suppose you are a last speaker, you, it will be right, writing an article. You have to hit the nail on its head. Now I, I can take the liberty of explaining the certain concepts. By doing so, I may be, at, I may be attempting to explore certain myths regarding research also. So that is why. Uh, speaking on the first day gives me a little bit advantage. Uh, that means I can I can deviate here and there. I can take some time. I can I can I can, I can build a very big platform on which I can later on dance freely or whatever it is. So what is the research? Whether it is a I, uh, normally I ask the question to yeah, wherever I go. Where we, uh, I have participated in almost more than 20-25 PhD programs. 
I, I have evaluated uh, more than more than 250 PhD thesis, for, uh, 20 or 25. Uh, what, what do you call this? Postdoctoral. Uh, uh, this, all these things I have done, and I have also guided 30 PhDs. And by God's grace, I, I can finalize a thesis within 20 minutes, whatever it is. That is a different. So now, uh, the, this I, I have read almost all the uh, books on research methodology, old one, new one, and most of them, the, most of the research methodology books are written uh, by persons who have not understood what is legal research, just cut and paste or a copy and paste without understanding. They have written the uh, things. That is why I am raising this question. Well, wherever I go, I will definitely raise this question and I, if I to find out the answer uh, and also explore certain myths. Whether it is an hyphenated word or it is a prefixed word. Is it research? Hyphenated word. Or is it a prefixed word? Search, research. Submit, resubmit. Try, retry. Prefixed word or a hyphenated word. And most of the books, uh, at least eight books, Either inside or in the pre in the in the, uh, in the forward or in the in the in the in the in the preface, they are using the word research means research. That means you have to it is there already. You have to search. So something it is something like that. I I I I I have, I have misplaced my spectacles. I will be searching here and there, and it will be in my pocket itself. My daughter will come and say, "Daddy, search it in your pocket, whatever it is." So search research. So if I if I accept this particular uh, 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 why this confusion comes is because of the word the confusion because research and reference. So we also while arguing a case we refer to certain case laws. We do some research. That is what. So that is why the the, uh, the formal and material sources of uh, of law we have to talk about it uh, from the international point of view. Only uh, Stark talks about formal and material sources. And with reference to municipal law, only Salmon talks about formal and material sources of, of sources of law. So now we have to make distinction between formal and material sources. So that is why. So the word, uh, that if you say it is a, it is a uh, hyphenated word or a prefixed word, and all the research will be only discoveries, and none of the research will be invention. Hope you'll understand the difference between invention and a discovery. So discovery means it is already there. You, you, are, you are just uncovering it, discovering it. That's all. Invention means new invention. That is why we, 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 we say um, uh, human, uh, human, with invention with human intervention with reference to IPR, especially with reference to patent, we call it. So inven if, if you say it is only a research or uh, hyphenated word or research, then what, what is all our researchers so far we have published the papers uh, we have published several uh, submitted several theses all these theses would be only discoveries none of them will qualify to be called as uh, uh, to be called as uh, inventions so that is why uh, the, the the word research has been derived from the word uh, researchy meaning careful and diligent research so it is what what you call it careful and diligent search that means uh, you should have you, you should go for normally we say don't leave any stone unturned. So don't do apposite research. You, you do it in a systematic manner. Start from A to Z. That is what normally we say. Suppose I want to find out something, then I'll have to start from A to Z, not apposite, what, not, not random sampling, but I have to go by uh, A to Z in a, in a, in a methodological manner. In, in a, in a, in a, in a, I have to follow certain methodology and I have to follow, uh, find out the truth or whatever it is. So it is careful and diligent search and which means controlled energy uh, inquiry. That means the researcher should have control over his inquiry. This is what normally we emphasize. So the, if you are a researcher, so I see a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, persons with PhDs and you, you would have, you would have had very good interaction with your guides, etc., etc. But nevertheless, I'll tell you one thing. And normally, sometimes we don't have control over our research. So this has happened to me also. So after after five years of my research, I, I came to a dead end. I thought I, from 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 uh, from I have I went to Delhi. I went I exhausted all the materials from all the Indian uh, libraries, Delhi libraries, etc., etc. But still, I thought I have come to a dead end. At that time only, I was fortunate enough to be awarded the Yeg Doctoral Scholarship by the uh, Yeg Academy of uh, International and Affiliate of International Court of Justice, where I spent two months to, to fi and finalize my thesis, where, and, and also it came out very well. So that, that is what it, we should have a control, because nowadays we don't have control. The guide will say, you write something and come. 
we will do it. I know that person. Uh, you will approve your thesis. Most of the time, this is what is happening. And the guy, and the researcher doesn't know anything. What is he is doing? Or she's. I am talking about major as sixty to seventy percent. There are exceptions, and predominantly, this is what is happening. So you should have a controlled inquiry, inquiry for gaining uh, some new knowledge and also for verifying existing knowledge. So this is what you should know. So uh, the the scientific research must uh, the, the 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 careful and diligent research search must be with reference to gain knowledge and the gain knowledge and that is what we, we they call it as the epistemology of epistemology in philosophy they call it as epistemology i'll come to that later to gain knowledge and to verify the existing knowledge so we, we, the existing knowledge has to be keep on tested that is what normally we say so uh, when galileo said the world is not flat as it was thought it is in a globe shape he was considered to be a madman so that is why verifying the existing knowledge so how to what extent that is why the honorable supreme court can overrule it we say the honorable supreme court can overrule its own decision the, the honorable supreme court is not bound by its own decision we go we can go for a review petition for example uh, the, the, the 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 judicial invention of the uh, basic structure concept can be questioned the judicial invention of the transformative constitutionalism uh, all these things we can be it can be questioned and uh, sometimes uh, it is based on the judge's uh, 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 vision or judge's uh, perception etc etc so it is also verifying the existing knowledge whether it is good or bad so what has happened 10 years ago may need not be good today so that is why they, 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 we have to it is a controlled inquiry to gain knowledge or verify knowledge etc etc now legal research we are we'll move on to legal research now it is a social science research so social science so that is why uh, i as i told you earlier uh, our our is, our uh, law, law uh, comes under uh, humanities and social science so they what are what are the methodologies what are the principles applicable for social research will be predominantly made applicable to legal research also the social science because Law, 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 there is a close relationship between law and society. Because uh, we will come to that later. Law and society. So this is what you should know. The law controls activities of the society, etc., etc. Regulates the activities, the, the whatever the practice of the society. Ultimate that is ultimately later on com comes as the custom. The practice of the society comes as the customary law and all these things. And it, when it is a command of the sovereign, it controls the society, etc., etc. And the main uh, objective of the uh, thing is uh, law is to maintain equilibrium in the society. So this is what you should you should understand. So now uh, there, if, if in a society there will be have and have nots, uh, power and powerless, uh, prey and predator, poor, rich and poor, uh, all these things will be there. Therefore, pulls and counter pulls will be there. So you have to maintain equilibrium, orderly society. You should have an orderly society. So that is what sometimes we say uh, the create an orderly society based on this principle maximum gain with minimum pain etc etc so that is why we say the objective of municipal law is to maintain orderly society or render justice it is not so with reference to international law so sometimes we we we, we think the object of international law is to render justice certainly not the object of international law is to maintain international peace and security and respect uh, foster and respect for the uh, develop respect for fundamental uh, human rights and fundamental freedoms this is all nowhere it is said uh, justice except in the nato principles they call justice justice nowhere it is said though we have international court of justice so that is what i am talking about from the municipal law point of view maximum gain with minimum pain etc etc then we we talk about scientific method so this is very important so it has to be a careful and diligent search and it should be a controlled search, a uh, controlled inquiry and the inquiry must be with reference to gaining a new knowledge or verifying the existing knowledge. And this is what normally we say we should apply because it's, we call it as a science. We, we are using a scientific method. What is a scientific method? I, I, I normally I share a story uh, for the last 20 years I have been sharing this story to make you understand. And I, I, I will not hesitate to share it once more because it will be more, uh, more and more, it will be enlightening. For example, imagine a situation, 
in ancient days one man wanted to visit his mother who, who was uh, who was residing some 20 or uh, 20, 20 kilometers away from his native village uh, and in those days there is no other <coughs> transportation <coughs> excuse me no other transportation except you have to go by walk so he asked his wife to pack lunch for him he took the lunch walked 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 so it became uh, uh, it became very hot because the sun was uh, on his head so he was also hungry so at 12 o'clock he ate his he opened his lunch bar, uh, lunch uh, lunch ate the lunch and as usual uh, because he was tired and it was also he found a big uh, shady fig tree and uh, he want he wanted to take some rest after that he thought he can walk so before closing his eyes he looked upon and saw small fig trees on the big fig uh, fig fruits small fig fruits on the big fig, fig tree and he turned this side and saw big pumpkins in a small creeper so he thought god must be fooled to create a, a small fig fruit in a big fig, fig tree and big uh, a pumpkin in a small creeper thinking like that soon if he was fast asleep suddenly he was awakened by the fall of a fig uh, fruit on his nose top then he woke up sir, and knelt before god and said god forgive me you are really a, a intelligent god you are, uh, for, forgive me for calling you as a fool you are a most intelligent person in the world because i had this pumpkin fallen on my nose my nose would have become bloody nose so you are the right person you you have you have the enough intelligence to create a small fig fruit in a big fig tree and a very big uh, pumpkin in a small creeper thinking like that he came to the conclusion that god is a uh, god, god is a intelligent god or intelligent uh, is most intelligent person on the universe compare this with uh, sir isaac newton isaac newton also was sleeping under a particular tree that is especially apple tree suddenly he saw one apple falling from the tree and he, he thought why it's not going up instead of uh, in, in, instead it is coming down instead of going up it's coming down what is the reason so that is what the scientific inquiry and he invented three laws of gravitation etc etc so one incident fall of a fruit one one man came to the conclusion that god is an intelligent and one man it was a scientific inquiry scientific method he invented three laws of gravitation motion or whatever it is you may call it so sometimes we call it armchair thinking tomorrow whether it will rain suddenly you close your eyes think about it and say yes 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 it will rain this is what we call armchair thinking or we say whatever it is armchair thinking or without any observation but if you ask a scientific if you ask a prudent man who lives with the nature he will see he will, he will see here and see here and there and see ah uh, uh, the, the, the the dragon flies are flying ah uh, uh, tomorrow it may rain uh, i see uh, the, the the peacocks are here and there running here and there i see the ants running elter shelter therefore tomorrow it may rain or tomorrow there may be earthquake tomorrow it may be so by mere observation that is why today we call this particular thing as traditional knowledge by observation scientific method but but without knowing what is scientific method we we, have, we, we earlier we used uh, uh, this particular scientific techni techniques without knowing that they are techniques today also we, that is the same thing is happening you might have done your research or you may be doing your research without knowing this is what the methodology is all about but nevertheless you would have completed your research but for explanation purposes for better understanding of the subject so today i am here to explain certain concepts so this is what you should know now what is scientific research what is science i will not take much of your time what is science means gathering or construct certain kind of knowledge so this is what science from the sixth standard onwards we have been asking this question we have we have been familiar with this particular word science 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 physical science botany zoology physics chemistry uh, and uh, natural science etc etc we have been uh, we have been familiarized with this word science but what is science gathering or constructing certain kind of knowledge with reference to that is why zoology knowledge with with reference to uh, animals biology knowledge with reference to plants etc etc so biological biological study etc we have gathering or constructing certain kinds of uh, knowledge and uh, with based on logical reasoning rational understanding and empirical testing these three are in the three threes uh, they go hand in hand inseparable logical reasoning rational understanding and empirical testing this is what scientific method or scientific research 
So that is why I said it is not arms at thinking. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, the next, if the next government comes, the, the law will go. And this is not the. This is not what we say. So what we have to do is it is based on logical reasoning, rational understanding, and empirical testing. So what is you, what is meant by empirical testing? So this is what scientific testing is all all about: discovering or creating empirical knowledge. So nothing scientific method is nothing but creating empirical knowledge based on logical reasoning and rational understanding so you are you are in the pursuit of truth you are pursuit of finding something you are pursuit of verifying certain things already known facts then what happens is if it is based on logical reasoning rational understanding and based on and empirical testing otherwise based on your empirical knowledge so you may ask me what is empirical knowledge Empirical means observable or knowable through human senses. So, in this connection only, you should you should you should understand uh, the Kelsen's pure theory of law. So, what is pure theory of law? So, Kelsen said law must be devoid of all metaphysical elements. So, that is what he said. What is the what are the metaphysical elements? Not observable, knowable through your senses. That is what metaphysical elements. So, in those days, law was dom dom dominated by natural law theory or with reference to religious laws so moses gave the law 10 commandments so religion law canon law so then they came akinos thomas akinos others came and they said oh natural law how oh, natural law theory how oh, a butterfly uh, from from the from, from the caterpillar position to a uh, pupa then it becomes a, a, a butterfly so there is a natural law theory not natural justice natural law theory you have to follow certain natural things and that is what orderly society you have to follow so that time only the positivist came and they said no 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 it is not the religious law it is not the natural law it is the law as it is that is what positivism law is the command of the sovereign so that is why in this context only kelsen said law it must be devoid of all metaphysical elements that means he said law must be observable law must be knowable through human senses not not like that uh, moses gave the 10 commandments he said that it was a natural no 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 it must be man made law that is what legislation is all about today so now uh, we, we, we will see kinds of research this is also you should know because uh, because uh, I normally i would have skipped all these slides but nevertheless because if it is if it is one hour period normally i would have skipped these slides and also if it is a later part of the uh, uh, FDP, then also I would have skipped this uh, slide. But nevertheless, you should know uh, the, the objective of my, my next slide is to make you understand that the difference between kinds of research and methodology, whatever it is, you, you should observe. Uh, basically, kinds of research is only doctrinal and non doctrinal or empirical. So, this is what you should know. So, if you ask me, if you ask somebody, somebody ask you. What are the what are the kinds of constitution? Tell us the kinds of types of constitution. So you may say, based on its form, written constitution, unwritten constitution, based on its amendability, flexible, rigid. Similarly, if you based on the uh, government it envisages, you can say it is unitary and uh, it is it, it is unitary or federal. So normally we we say we you we, we focus only on unitary or federal government based on the uh, government only but indian constitution is federal or unitary or quasi federal similarly there may, may, may be n number of classifications of research but predominantly res kinds of research means only two things like like the uh, unitary and federal constitution it is doctrinal and non doctrinal oh, yeah. research and and also we may say qualitative quantitative research on the non doctrinal empirical research I think the, the right person to speak on this is Professor uh, uh, Ishwara Bhatt, and I think he has written a wonderful article. I have read also he, he later, later at the later part of the FDP. I think he will be enlightening you on qualitative and quantitative research. Sir, sir. Kindly, kindly unmute. Uh, I, I also want Chaya. Kindly unmute. <laughs> Bindu, can you mute your mic, please? I, 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 I am reminded of tea. 
അല്ലാതെ ഞാൻ ഇന്റേൺഷിപ്പിന് വന്നു ഞാൻ ലോ കോളേജ് ഡിസ്ട്രാക്ട് That's why I said in a joking manner, I, I, I'm reminded of a cup of tea, fine. Uh, the purpose and method. So now, applied and evolution, uh, uh, evaluation. So we all know the difference. I am not, I'm not be enlightening you. Um, uh, I am not be wasting your time. Because if you know the, uh, the if you understand steam as a power, that is, uh, that is what uh, the uh, applied, uh, the, uh, that is pure research. And when you, when you find, when you invent a, a steam engine then applied research whatever it is so applied and evaluation research etc etc you may say now kinds of research and method this is what you should know so kinds of research is only two uh, that's what predominantly it is empirical and doctrinal so doctrinal research will be based on the literary i'll come to that later but kinds of research and methods i'll give you this graph Uh, and at this slide so research doctrinal that is this is uh, based on the uh, secondary materials library method that is a traditional method um, relying mainly on secondary materials books uh, treatises etc etc and non doctrinal or empirical going to the field collecting data empirical data verifying the using that data to come out with these particular things that is why it is called hypothesis what is hypothesis hypo means less than thesis when the hypothesis is tested or proved by facts then it becomes thesis that facts is nothing but data empirical data so this is what hypothesis hypothesis hypo less than thesis so hypothesis is a presumption it is not like a, it is only a presumption you don't it is in the statement form and when the hypothesis is tested based on the empirical data field data uh, verifiable uh, by human senses data collection not material data collection then you are testing your uh, uh, your hypothesis uh, etc etc yes or no you may find out then then under this qualitative and quantitative so i will give you one example because i will not uh, to make you understand this is suppose uh, in one one tumbler of water one drop of oil has been uh, added so now the qualitative research will say yes uh, oil is uh, added to this particular uh, 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 tumbler of water so this is what qualitative the quality of the water has been altered by uh, by by adding of uh, uh, of uh, the particular oil that's all qualitative research will say this but the quantitative research research will say what type of oil has been added to that particular water how much uh percentage has been how much one drop or two drops have been added and what uh, what how much it has altered the physical chemical qualities of the water so this is what the quantitative and the uh, the qualitative research so the the the, in the in the qualitative research you will say yes 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 something is wrong yes yes sir. the quality quantitative research will think what is wrong how is wrong all these things you'll have to find out that is what so purpose and method so this is what based on the purpose and method i also I already i told what what kind of purpose and what type of method and you are going to uh, research may be classified so now we we will say applied and evaluation already i made a mention about it i will not waste your time so now what are the methods so this is what so what type of research what type of methodology we are going to use so analytical research so this is what doctrinal research 
analytical research and also philosophical anthropological etc etc will be using it historical research suppose you are you are you want to write an article uh, you are you want to write a, something on article 21 definitely you will be referring to historical aspects uh, due process class of america so suppose you want to have reservation policy you may be referring to uh, the, the separate but equal uh, treatment board of board, board of uh, education case and, and also you can uh, uh, affirmative action cases historical aspects background what may what will develop what what is the con, uh, cids uh, the con, uh, constitutional assembly debates or uh, reservation all these things you love that is called invariably the second chapter will be historical aspect of your 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 subject matter then anthropological what is the role of uh, human beings what is the human perception with reference to that research and also descriptive we call it a description descriptive method and a, in the under a descriptive method you have a survey method and uh, you have to comparative method and that is very very important nowadays we don't have comparative and what we comparative is even in mood courts they, they will say uh, <clears throat> ingenuity in mood court they will give 20 marks new arguments ingenuity etc etc drawing analogies difference drawing similarities different so that is what normally you, you should understand comparing uh, the way for example patent system comparing american patent system european union patent system traditional knowledge what is happening in that and agricultural system what is happening here? with reference to uh, the polluter based principle what is the principle of america what is the principle of Euro european union so comparative this comparative is with reference to content analysis content that is the content of the subject matter and compare the system american system with that of indian system etc etc and the time at that time what that's why i gave you an example of 1970s what has happened in america what has happened in around the world at the time and space and all these things we will have to compare so the next slide will be very very useful for you so this is what you should keep in your mind so you should select your you should understand what is your type of research kind of research doctrinal or empirical if it is doctrinal then analysis of historical records documents that is library method etc etc library study if it is if it is empirical research you have to go to the field you have to collect data before that you have to do sampling method universal sampling or whatever it is then after uh, that then the data collection can be done by uh, after sampling the data can can be collected by way of questionnaire interview observation and also uh, uh, and also uh, schedule etc etc so now these are the things you should understand so a, a type of research methodology tools or techniques of methodology this is what you should know so the young minds i'm just for the sake of end minds especially if you are doing research so who is a legal liter literate person so after so nowadays it is the fashion to uh, to write the objective of the course suppose somebody is asking me to prepare a course new course uh, legal ethics or something like that so i will say the objective of the course uh, after the uh, it, a number of lectures uh, it is a two credit course the student will be expected to become all these things are not, i will i will blabber something four or five sentences the outcome after the course so who is a legal literate that is what normally we ask who is a legal literate literate illiterate, so we, we are we know we know the south indian people are uh, more illiterate especially kerala the literacy percentage is very high so that is what we know but who what is who is a legal literate legal literacy means what is what is it means so first of all there are four conditions ability based on four abilities ability to understand that i need an information this is the first thing yes i need an information ability to understand what i want so this is what you should know somebody asks you what do you want you cannot say whatever you give sir i will take no 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 you should be very specific what is what do you want what 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 what, what is what information you want what you, you should know ability to understand what you should know so yeah, i will give you a biblical uh, example also once there was a blind man uh, pardime he was called jesus called him and asked me what do you want he didn't ask me asar for a long time i have been begging so if i have a stick a golden stick it will be useful for me if i have a begging uh, thing making noise it will be useful no no he wanted i he was very specific he knew what he wanted so he wanted the eyesight and god gave him so similar to that ability to understand what kind of information I, 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 I want. So the second thing is the ability to 
will find out that uh, part, that information. The ability to four abilities I said, ability to understand I need some information. The ability to find out that part, find out particular law. That is what research uh, which 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 journal will have it. Suppose one particular professor is uh, is writing on this. You you follow this professor's writing. Have a discussion with him. You will get the insights, etc., etc. So that is it. Second thing is. Uh, they evaluate the available. Uh, you must be having ability to evaluate the available materials or data. Suppose if I put privacy or if you put uh, interdisciplinary research in the net, you will get definitely you will get more than sixty thousand websites. So now you have to analyze it. I'm um, so analyze the uh, uh, things and what is good for you. You have to pick it up. The ability to analyze the particular uh, uh, thing and the last one is. The ability to use it to your advantage. This is can be an analogy can be drawn. This is ability to the formulation of research problem is ability to understand what problem I have. The ability to research collection of materials, data, what kind of research empirical or doctrinal. Then analyzing the data. That is what we say st statistical analysis, graphs, etc. You based on the analysis, you come to a certain conclusion. And the last part is. Using the data for your advantage. That is what report writing or thesis writing. So these are the these four abilities. If you have definitely uh, this, this should be our uh, future of our legal objective of future uh, uh, object of future legal education. Developing an ability in the mind of young minds to understand they need a pro, uh, they need an information where to get that information, how to use that, uh, how to evaluate that information. And how to use the application of that is what normally we say acquiring knowledge and application of knowledge how to use that particular thing so this is what you should know kind of research what type of methodology i'm going to follow methods i'm going to follow so kind of research is different from methodology and techniques and tools are different so keep this uh, thing in your mind suppose predominantly my research will be the uh, doctrinal research 40 percent two chapters for example, if I'm writing, I'm going to write a chapter on, uh, I'm writing a thesis on uh, 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 prison reforms. So now I will say, what is what are the objectives of the prison, uh, open prison system, uh, and also the objective of the uh, various uh, punishments. Then I, uh, one chapter I will allot for question. I will meet the inmates, because normally we don't get uh, permission. One chapter I may meet the uh, uh, jailers. I may get some information from the jailers. I meet one or two inmates and ask the materials whatever it is so in this case it is predominantly doctrinal and one chapter is on empirical so this is what when you are going for that empirical research kindly use what type of uh, data you are going to collect what type of sampling you are going to use and what type of tools questioner interview observation study this is what you should know then this is very important from the inception of our department department of legal studies university of madras 1950s, 52, I believe. So, from the inception of our Department of Legal Studies, University of Madras. So, that time it was started by Professor Alexandrovich. So, a known Polish English person who contributed for the development of Indian uh, constitutional jurisprudence, uh, etc., etc. So, from the inception of our department, we are proud to say we are very good at policy level research. So, this is what normally we say we are very good at policy level research. So, this is what. So, legal research. Uh, is uh, what is what is uh, what is legal research i will just explain policy policy will be converted into law law will be converted uh, law has to be uh, based on implementation in all these three stages research is possible so you should know which area i am focusing for this which whether i am focusing on policy for my first chapter whether i am focusing on law in my second chapter whether i am focusing on implementation in the empirical part of the, these things you should know now I will I will explain to you what is policy. So policy is nothing but a high water mark in the in the a social happening or social awakening. I can give in given n number of examples for this. Uh, what what happened because of Nirbhaya case we have to reduce that is what the policy because of what, why Pokhara Act came into existence why acid uh, acid uh, throwing was made as a thing why we are talking about so much of uh, um, uh, crime against women, etc., etc. So I, I normally earlier because still it is boiling in my heart. So we know Sarika, the only daughter on her birthday because of you teasing, 
she she fell down and and it got it on the then and she died so that is what the social awakening social happening so that was the policy so they said oh we should have a in tamil nadu i'm talking about tamil nadu we should have a anti eve teasing have a law this is the policy before 1976 the word environment was not in our constitution only after 1972 stockholm declaration so that was a policy environmental policy uh, and we today we are talking about uh, uh, the the climate change policy today we are talking about that climate change justice this is the policy so the policy has to be converted into law that is what environmental protection law act 1986 so now anti evicting act anti ragging act now was uh, my my one vice chancellor's son was brutally uh, killed uh, he was cut into piece in the name of ragging so that was why anti ragging came so that was a policy so an eye opener an awakening social awakening something uh, something that's happening happens in the society where the society is made to, the conscience of the society is been shaken that is what we call policy this policy will be converted into a law and the law has to be implemented so i will explain to this with these things policy means what type of research doctrinal research exploratory research formulative research so if you are a policy level research you have to be broad based you should know international law you should know constitutional law you should know research methodology you should know interpretation of statutes you, sh- you, you should also know research methodology because if you are suggesting a law that law should be in tune with international law it should be in tune with the constitutional law it should not be overlapping with other <coughs> uh, as i told you other laws etc etc so you should be broad based exploratory formulatory and you can collect data also here also do it i said doctrinal it is predominantly doctrinal but you can also go for empirical research how many persons have been uh, have been uh, affected victims what are the nature of the victims how, how can how can we uh, we can make uh what is the victims how much victim compensation can be paid so these are the scientific data we you know we are talking today we are talking about what you call reservation uh, in tamil nadu also recently the under uh, under supreme court struck down 10% reservation for the one particular uh, sub, uh, sub reservation why there is there is no scientific data no scientific data no scientific data therefore the law has to be uh it has to be supported by scientific data so that is what normally we say so in the scientific data that is what when you talk about scientific data even in a policy level you you can go for doctrinal research it is possible i am not ruling out but predominantly whatever i say is general rule now with reference to law so law has been came so policy level when it comes to law then it is it becomes a domain of practitioner legal practitioner analytical jurisprudence analysis non doctrinal descriptive analysis uh, section wise analysis suppose human rights protection act is there so there are institutions state human rights commission uh, national human rights commission uh, consumer protection act state, uh, state redressal forum national redressal forum so how the institutions are working so analysis analysis analytical so this is not good now we are talking about data protection bill how far data protection bill will affect the the, the emerging digital economy so this is what we are talking about so how far what what is the uh, the the impact of the law on the society these are the things we will be discussing but when it comes to implementation by and large 90% if it will be empirical and hypothesis testing this, this is what you should know suppose uh, that is why here we say there is a huge gap between policy and research we will say there is a huge gap between law and uh, theory and practice policy and implementation huge gap uh, law and practice huge gap so that is why law and practice without knowing you you would have put it in your in your in your title the law and practice of this particular law of evidence practice whatever it is so this is the law and what is a practice so this is the theory and what is a practice there is a huge gap between theory and practice so that is why sometimes we say human rights are rhetoric human rights uh, things are very high but not implemented so uh, even in environmental law because of the executive apathy that is why judicial activism came into picture because the, there was a executive apathy so executive did not do anything with reference to environmental protection the, the pollution control boards uh, became a mute spectator they didn't know what to do 
so that is why judiciary step into the shoes of this uh, this uh, pollution control boards etc etc that is what we call judicial activism when the when the when the one of the uh, one, one of the constitutional authority fails to discharge its duty when judiciary accepts into the shoes of that particular constitutional authority and discharges that particular constitutional mandate then that is what we call uh, judicial activism don't confuse it between judicial activism and judicial review some people say judicial review is uh, extra, judicial activism is extended version of judicial review certainly not judicial review is inherent powers of the honorable supreme court and uh, judicial activism is when the other branches of the uh, government fails to discharge its duty constitutional duty and judiciary steps into the shoes of that constitutional machinery mechanism and discharges that constitutional uh, uh, mandate or constitutional responsibility that is what we call judicial activism for that also you need empirical research etc etc hope you understand what is what now research this is very important from the 21st century research also so now this up to this first part is introduction second part is legal research and third part is we are moving to the uh, main area interdisciplinary research in uh, legal uh, law teaching and research so this is very important so now in the 21st century what is what you should know legalism what is legalism that is what analytical school of jurisprudence legalism formalism or legalism legal formalism legalism so according to them law as rules text text matters interpretation of law that's all nothing must law must be interpreted in a letter and spirit so this is what they say legislation is the primary sources of law for them now realism this is after 70s american realism scandinavian realism etc etc law as a tool for social control this is what they say the purpose of law the law has been understood from the functional aspect of it law functional aspect of it, law is control uh, the control the society text is not matter but the social behavior matters so this is what they say how many laws may come but unless uh, in tamil they say ethana thirudana paathu thirudana uliya unless you repent you put any number of law so this is what sometimes we call it as a what you call volkist in the in the, uh, in the we call it as volkist popular support if the law doesn't enjoy the popular support then the law will fail this was very much evident with reference to helmet rule and also with reference to prohibition rules uh, prohibition we could not do anything because it was it is a vice the, the victim enjoyed it therefore we, we have to allow it there was there it was not popular it doesn't enjoy the popular support sometimes the helmet rule also did not enjoy popular support it is good for actually for 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 for, for the society so that is why text is not the matter but the social behavior matters so it gives the strength to that particular legal text not the text alone matters but the uh, uh, the, uh, the human behavior societal behavior in furtherance of the text uh, in, reinforces gives force to that particular law social realism otherwise today we call it as a sociology of law i will come to that later because i have a, i have one slide on that i i will explain to the what is what and this is very important interest of the stakeholders today we are talking about sustainable use we are talking about sustainable development so that is what public participation of stakeholders this has become a concept internationally recognized concept it has been brought into this that is something like uh, no man should be condemned before being heard so that is what natural justice principle is also so this is a rd ultra patrum so i i suppose you are bringing a dam here so the local community people must be consulted this is what they said earlier uh, the environment and impact assessment now today we are talking it about like a uh, precautionary principle so if a, if a law is going to affect me i should be consulted this is also we are we, in madras university and various institution we, we have to incorporate this so there if, if if you are making a if you are going to increase uh, 50 rupees per paper examination paper so the students community will be consulted so that is what normally we do otherwise it they will say arbitrarily they have raised it without consulting us so the interest of the stakeholders must be if there is a transfer of the person 
he must be consulted. He, the, everything must be transparent. So the interest of the stakeholders must be taken into consideration before framing a law, etc., etc. This is very important, social auditing. Professor Madhav Menon started this, but somehow uh, it, it, uh, it, it did not find a direction. Social auditing. I'll come to that later when I come to the sociology of law. This is what social auditing concept is also there. So that is what today we are, we are caught between these th two waves. One side legalism, analytical school of jurisprudence. I used to tell my students, I, I, I studied in Tamil medium only, but I will, I will encourage my students to uh, 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 argue in English because as long as uh, uh, analytical school of jurisprudence rules the jurisprudence, uh, you cannot argue in your vernacular language. This is very simple because all the text has to be interpreted uh, dictionary meaning, plain dictionary meaning. So that is why you, know, you have to develop your English, English knowledge. So it is not with reference, you will be judged not with reference to your legal acumen, legal knowledge, but how you are going to express it, how you are going to say it, how you are going to do it. For that, you need language. So that is why normally we say legalism. As long as analytical school of jurisprudence is ruling the uh, jurisprudence uh, realm, realm of jurisprudence, then you have to study English invariably. That will be uh, legal language or whatever it is. And uh, re realism, no, 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 no. Text is there, law is the command of the sovereign, etc., etc. But social happenings has to be taken into consideration. So this is what we are caught between these two waves, and the and, and the and the truth lies in between somewhere. Sociological jurisprudence. This I have to enlighten before coming to what is interdisciplinary research. Otherwise, you will not understand what is interdisciplinary research. So the the sociological school school of we you know. Uh, Rosco Pound and so, law is a so, tool for social engineering, lawyers are social engineers, etc. etc. The basic idea is to bring the insights of the social sciences to bear on the law. So, the impact of social sciences on law. So, that is what the first thing. So, this is the first uh, seed for interdisciplinary research. That is why I am talking about. So, social science, impact of social sciences on law. First, first uh, seed has been shown in sociological school of jurisprudence with reference to uh, interdisciplinary research. Uh, realizing this importance only, even now, the Bar Council of India has BA LLB honors, PCOM LLB honors, BSc LLB honors, etc. All these things. So science-based law graduates, uh, commerce-based law graduates, um, uh, management, BBA-based law graduates, arts-based law graduates, commerce-based law graduates. So, use the, the science bear on the law. So, that is why, so they say they, they will be intersecting. Law cannot exist uh, uh, in isolation. So, it has to be, it has to be studied. Law has to be studied with reference to the, uh, the, uh, the, the impacting factors on it. What are the impacting factors? Social sciences are the impacting factors on law. Therefore, you have to study law with reference to social sciences. This is the starting point. That is why, uh, uh, that is why for my topic, interdisciplinary research, I, I am telling this is the seed for interdisciplinary. That is why I said after 1970s. I will give you an empty number of examples. In 1967, the first uh, research, uh, uh, research methodology uh, 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 seminar was conducted in India, 1967. And later on, all the proceeding, all the papers pub, uh, presented in that uh, seminar was published in the publication of ILI. So recently it has been, uh, uh, it has been modified. Manoj Kumar Singha and somebody else edited that book. But if you read the earlier book, uh, you will not find even empirical research, you will not find a good, good one, good article. There is no word, nothing about interdisciplinary research. So that is why they have edited the book and now it is a small book. Earlier book was very big, huge one. Now it is come at small because when for my LLMs, uh, for my ML, I referred that 1970, 1967 edition of the uh, 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 that proceedings. S. K. Agarwala has written so many, so many uh, that times leading scholars have written that. But that time you should understand that all our researchers are focusing on social sciences. Today we are focusing on economic science, economics also. That is why I said trade, economics, etc. Today we are talking about more about market oriented. Earlier. Uh, uh, the, the happy marriage between law and, uh, law and social justice. We never uh, made, so we, we never gave much thought about economic justice. 
law was seen only as political justice and social justice today we are seeing law predominantly economic justice so that is why economically weaker section the reservation has been there uh, and also we are talking about uh, creamy creamy layer etc etc so that is why we have so many laws the, the insolvency code new insolvency code competition act the new a uh, new bill on the privacy data data privacy act data protection act etc etc all these things are digital economy we are talking about bitcoins we are talking about virtual uh, coins etc virtual currency etc etc so many things are the digital currency digital economy because of the information revolution in the information technology so today we are slowly moving with the social to science also that is why i said lpg and science so that is why so that is why i am giving you this introduction so in order to make law conform to the needs of aspirations of the society so what is a, what is the functional aspect of law uh, um, that is why i said uh, law um, that is why orderly justice what is the object of law justice so this is what uh, salmon also said what is the function of the uh, function of the government law and justice war and justice i'm sorry war and justice war is external sovereignty justice is in the internal sovereignty war, war is war, war is with reference to foreign foreign uh, affairs uh, internal things law and law and order is justice so now maintain our uh, maintaining orderly society law and justice etc etc now i like the sociological analysis of law so law has been analyzed with reference to social uh, the social inputs that's what sociological analysis of law concept of law has to be understood in its social context so the law the role of law visavi uh, 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 the role of law has to be understood visavi its impact on the society based on the three premises that's what uh, just everybody knows because you would have studied jurisprudence like one of my favorite subject is jurisprudence so nevertheless i will touch up on that it's very close to my heart so that is why i'm touching it don't don't bother if you are not interested just you can you can mute and go a law cannot be understood except as a social phenomenon this is this is what law is a social concept can anybody define law no we have about 12 definitions of law what is justice again it is also social concept what is property the the oldest known legal concept so uh, ca- the the the, the ca- property so these are the social concepts wherein uh, they got legal recognition like the ipr the ipr is nothing but uh, what we call the the um, common law common law principles common law rights call that is what the, uh, my labor should not be uh, uh, stolen by others so that is common law principle later it got statutory recognition similar to that the, the impact of the law on the society it has to be studied that is what it says law cannot cannot be understood except as a social phenomenon as a social concept not not as a, a separate ab- abstract principles as it was said in legalism legal formalism analysis of legal concept provides only partial explanation so analytical jurisprudence provides only particle partial explanation law is merely one form of social control this is what the 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 today because thanks to the development of sociological school of jurisprudence this is what i said from the sociological jurisprudence to sociology law in the 20, in the in the 1960s it was sociological school of jurisprudence today it is sociology of law first stage generalist uh, that is what rosco pound others i am not going to the detail second stage synthesis of academic lawyers and sociologists so that is why i i was proud to call to be called as a social scientist so that is what so any type of uh, ill illness in the society you come to me i will tell the remedy i am the doctor physician for the social evils so that is what social scientist so one time i proudly called myself social scientist instead of calling myself as a uh, as a lawyer advocate i prefer to call myself as a social scientist because i will find out the evils i will find out the disease and i will prescribe the medicines uh, appropriate medicines for that evil so this is what synthesis of academic lawyers that is practical lawyers so that is why sometimes even in uh, 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 today we are talking about this one suppose a professor is there and now now this is what we we have to do a professor is not allowed to practice in india so he can be only a, a academic 
the academic person. So if he is allowed to lie or practice like what is happening in medical and other things, he will be called as an academic lawyer, whatever it is. So today academician, so that is why in IPR, certain, certain, in IITs and other things, there will be IPR chair, chair professor. He, he will call himself, I am academic lawyer. So he can also give uh, advices to government. He also uh, does some patent drafting, etc., etc. Therefore, he calls himself proudly academic lawyer. So this is what the synthesis of academic lawyers and sociologists, etc. That the start stage is very important. The study of theoretical questions, functions of what is the function of law, meaning of justice, etc. Legality. What is the legality? Legal uh, thing is re rapprochement between sociology and natural law. So this is what. Earlier they said all these things is different. What is the concept of justice? As I told you earlier, I can give you an empty number of examples. Suppose imagine a, imagine a poor lady. Uh, she's, she's having a cow. Uh, that cow has been stolen. Uh, that because of the cow and that the cow is providing her, uh, it was a lively, uh, it was li livelihood for her because it will give three liters of milk in the morning, three liters of milk in the after, uh, evening, six liters. She sold it. She was happy, happy with that. On fine morning, she lost her cow. And she went and cried to the inspector. Imagine that you are the inspector. You are a very good man. So within three days, you got the culprit. You, you booked him. Within three weeks, you got him convic conviction. Fine. You have done your job. Fine. Go very good. Fine. As an inspector, you have done your job. But the, after three weeks also, this lady is weeping and com coming to you and weeping. Sir, what is justice for? So this is what we say, victimology. So from the victim's point of view, we have to understand the law, et cetera, et cetera, and other things, whatever it is, you have to appreciate. So the, the legality part of it, what is the legality of it? That is why natural law theory has been brought into our constitution, pumped into the veins of the constitution through Article 14. Legality, what is the legality of this Article 21? Uh, due process, uh, that, is, that, is, that, that is what uh, the, fa the, the, the golden triangle has been created. The fair, that is what under the, after the Manaka Gandhi's case, Rai E.P. Rayapas case, the golden triangle, law must be fair, justice, and reasonable. That is what legality. So earlier this, if, it, if it is, there is a law, even if it is that law is not fair law, if it prescribes person procedure, then through that procedure, they can violate your uh, right to a life. No, 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 no. The, the, the legality of that law, has to, that is the fairness of the law, legality of the law, Due process class, was, they said it was complaint, but later they said they created a golden triangle. 14, 19, and, and 21. So this is what we the Law must be fair, just, and reasonable. So this is what the theoretical questions, function of a law, meaning of justice, etc., etc. Now, understand the process by which laws emerged or created. For what? For, that is why I said policy, compulsion, social compulsion, based on the social compulsion, not according to anybody's whims and fancies, law has not been created. So that is why we can't say law is the command of the sovereign. No, it is the compulsion of the society. Problems of implementation. So if it is a command of the sovereign, then only thing is, it is only evil, that is punishment. But that is why problems of implementation will come, unless you understand uh, the nature of law and its impact on the society, vice versa. That is why today we are talking about, earlier we talked about socio-legal studies. This is what, or to, to what, what extent the, the Right to Education Act improves the condition of the society, social conditions. To what extent the 100 days work improves. So this is what socio-legal studies. Definition of law. We have two propositions. One is what? Law regulates the activities of the society. What is the definition of law? My, my granddaughter, uh, my, my, my granddaughter who is studying in theater comes and asks me, uh, 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 Grandpa, Grandpa, what is law? Ha, 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 come, come, come. I have been teaching law for 30 years. Oh, come on. Law is the uh, command of the sovereign. Law is the civil society. Ah, oh. she will say, go, uh, go, Grandpa. So what is the rudimentary definition of law? Law regulates my external conduct. That's all. Law, cre by creation of the society, regulates my external conduct by prescribing certain do's and don'ts. That's all. My inner conduct is regulated by etiquity, morality, that is religious sentiments, philosophy, etc., etc. So that is what, if you, if you accept this, then law regulates the activities of the society. Then if the law regulates my external conduct, 
my external conduct vis-a-vis -vis government, public law. My external conduct vis-a-vis -vis my family, personal law. My external conduct vis-a-vis my, my neighbors, it is, it, 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 it is a private law. So that is why we, we, that is how we study jurisprudence. So now, uh, if the law regulates the activities of the society, then today we are talking about developments that takes place in the society influences the growth of law. This is what important. That is why I said two propositions. One proposition is law controls the society. True. But today, in the 21st century, this is what we call sociology of law. Any development, political, legal, so sociological, cultural, uh, uh, technological, scientific de developments, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that developments influences growth of law because any develop, unbridled development will lead to chaos in the society. So because of the development of information technology, we have Information Technology Act. Because of the development of biotechnology, we have regulating biotechnology principles. Uh, Biodiversity Act has been thing because of the because of the one party uh, rule, then coalition rule, then alliance rule, then anti defection law came. So then, so many things, economic development and creamy layer principle has been brought in. So scientific development, anything, uh, cultural development, human rights principles. So the developments that takes place in the society uh, influences the growth of law. That is what we call sociology of law. Earlier we thought sociological school of jurisprudence laws impacted on society today society's impact on lawmaking this is what new legal order we are talking about this is what we are talking about new legal order society demands law supplies that's all society demands there must be a law like this and law has been made by the parliament etc etc now holistic approach you know the story, Hindustan elephant. Six person went to see elephant. So one man touched the belly and said, oh, elephant is like a wall. One person touched the leg and said, it is like a pillar. One person touched this tusk and said, no, no, it is like a spear. One person touched this trunk and said, it is like snake. One person touched the tail and said, it is like a broom. Another person touched the nose and said, oh, it is like a fat. Nobody properly, that is why holistic approach must be needed. For that reason only, we are, today we are talking about interdisciplinary research. Hope you will understand. Now I am moving on to next half an hour. I will finish it. 5.30. What is the time? 4.30. Yes. I will finish it. In half an hour I will finish it. No problem. If you are, I, I can give some time for the questions also. Because I, I have explained the concept. Now I can rush through my slides. Industrial holistic approach. So this is, this is recently I read a in, wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, piece of uh, 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 wonderful uh, 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 writer, General Motors. They got a letter from the. Uh, it's one of its um, customers. I am writing for the second time. It start the letter went like this. I am starting from. I am. I am writing this letter for the second time. First time I did not get re response because I know what I am going to write. Complain is might might be uh, might, uh, meaningless or like this. So there is an habit in our family. There is a habit in our family. What? Every night uh, we, we, we will decide what kind of uh, uh, dessert we will eat. Ice cream. Uh, every night we will have some uh, dessert and we will decide what type of ice cream. Fine. Whenever I go and I, I recently I bought a, a particular type of vehicle from uh, General Motors. Whenever I go and buy vanilla ice cream and I come back to the uh, car, the car doesn't start immediately. This was the complaint. Hope you will understand. Second time I'm writing. If I buy, if I buy a chocolate ice cream, the car starts. If I buy uh, other ice creams, the car starts. But if I buy vanilla ice cream, the car doesn't start. The the uh, the, the, the worst manager got but true. Uh, what is this? He says uh, the car is allergic to vanilla. So, but he, nevertheless, he sent the uh, for one month. He sent one man to. Uh, with that. So he also went in the night car. So when he bought the uh, uh, when, when, he, when he bought the vanilla ice cream, the car did not start. Start. But when he got the pista ice cream, the car started. Uh, when, he, when he bought uh, uh, chocolate ice cream, the car started. But only with reference to vanilla ice cream. So he was fed up. One month he fed up. Then he started writing. 
what time is goes 10:30 after the dinner he goes for dessert how far is the thing so what time he enters the supermarket what time he come he found one thing he takes less time for buying uh, what vanilla ice cream because the vanilla ice cream is in the front side of the supermarket whereas the other ice creams are at the rear side of that so that is time they saw <laughs> cooling impact vapor cooling impact they found it so since he buys vanilla ice cream the time taken for buying vanilla ice cream is very short that time the engine is not getting cooled to restart it but when he goes and buys goes to the rear side of the supermarket and the time there is a time so this is what we call holistic approach so don't leave any anything whatever it is the story is very wonderful today uh, if he thinks what is this all these things so that is what every point scientific data is important interdisciplinary they didn't do anything with reference to it is nothing to do with uh, mechanics nothing to do with allergic nothing to do with all these things only simple matter the time for cooling so they they rectified it in the next uh, edition of their car so this is what these things so now methodology what kind of methodology you are going to use this is what very important not one but the combination of two and more i told you earlier depending on the area which area depending on the subject which subject you are going to deal and this is what very important human social dynamics so these are the things normally i i, I don't teach to my i tell only my research students so this is what socio uh, what a socio uh, you, your human social dynamics this is what ability to anticipate that there will be some change this is what human social dynamics simply connotes ability ability to uh, anticipate complex uh, consequences of a change suppose corona comes what will be there suppose uh, uh, suppose a catastrophe comes tsunami comes what will this is what human social uh, uh, dynamics expecting something otherwise it is called futuristic so suppose you want to build a, a, a bridge so you can decide the length of the bridge because based on the breadth of the river you can decide the breadth of the bridge but what is what should be the breadth of the bridge for that you need scientific data how many cars are traveling during night during night time in after 10 years how many cars will be traveling at the same time whether there there is any project for having a new uh, circuit uh, sound township so any circuit town all these things you have to take into consideration so you have to decide whether to two lane or three lane or four lane or six lane this is what human social dynamics to understand the cognitive social structures that create and define the change so the cognitive structures the cognitive uh, social structures that create that that create and define the change so this is what one thing and one more thing i will i i want to say with reference to hindustan elephant otherwise we call it as a academic fragmentation this is very important in international we have this we use the word fragmentation of international self contained rules so now we call it as a academic fragmentation this is what a lawyer is I, when i took my research in 1986 my professor said it is a controversial subject i said why he said because i i at that time i selected definition of terrorist in international law because 1986 he said people will think whether it is a social science so political science research or legal research because that time pure legal research was emphasized that was rule of the day but now it's not possible so that is what i am saying human social dynamics what we out i out anticipate in this context only we are talking about what is what called social auditing what the law will impact the, what the law will have impact on the society in next 5 years etc etc and if you are interdisciplinary researcher generally they say you you, you, you are you are you, you have to study till your death but if you are a lawyer then they will say uh, till your that you have to study you have to keep updated and if you are international lawyer then every day you have to study newspaper every day you have to read the uh, watch the news so it is a lifelong learning skill many people after after the research they become blunt they don't write anything if they write anything that is nothing but review article no research is there because they lost this lifelong 
learning skills. This is very much important. So if you want lifelong learning, so I have done my research, that's all. After that, they, they will write 20 or 30 articles. None of the articles will be a lead article, research article. Everything will be, uh, you, 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 I, I don't blame the persons also because of the because of UGC. They will write in UGC car, car listed journal, but most of the time it will be a review article. They will write for 10 pages, conclusion will be only 10 lines. I'm, I'm very sorry to say this because they are not getting up this lifelong learning skills. They will not develop what I said earlier, find out the information, uh, ability to understand the information is needed, where to find out, analyze it and put it uh, and apply it. That skill has not been developed. They got a degree for the sake of getting a degree. That's all finished. But I'm not, I'm not blaming anyone. Now at least time has come. The new generation has come. 21st generation, 21st century, you are a guide. I see a lot of doctors here because uh, you are joined this FDP because of the UGC credits for your promotion. I don't blame you because I also, I joined as a lecturer, senior lecturer, reader, then direct professor, no problem. But I also underwent all these things. But this lifelong learning skill, if you want, then that is what we have talk about interdisciplinary research. In a, in a, in a research, I, I will go through. So these are the steps in research. They say 14 steps, uh, subdubbedy, all these things. So I, according to me, this is enough. Uh, what is a problem formation? That is what objective, aim and objective. Many people do not know the difference between aim and objective. Uh, they will say aim, objective, one and the same. Aim is your thing. Objective is what is achievable, what is realizable. And then you have to go for a research design based on your research, whether doctrinal research or a empirical research. Then you have to formulate a research design. Then based on the research design, you have to go for sampling, uh, uh, universal sampling or random sampling or whatever it is. Based on a sampling method, if it is empirical research and also an, uh, qualitative research or a quantitative research, you have to collect data. And you have to use certain techniques, what I said, uh, tools or techniques. Then collect the data, observation, uh, questionnaire method, interview method, schedule method, you collect the data, data interpretation, tabulate it, graph, you put a draft inter, uh, and interpret the data and you write reporting. This is what research is, very simple. Many people are confused, that's all, very simple. Formulate, a, first of all, sit with your guide, formulate the research problem and formulate the research design. Next will follow. Take six months to one year, sit with the guide, don't select the, that is why sometimes I say, some will, will say, for admission of PhD itself, you have to write your synopsis. Okay. When the child is born itself, you want to we want you want to see the child running. Huh? When you put the child in the first class, first standard, she should speak. Uh, she or he should talk in English and uh, uh, rhymes. This is what what we say. Huh? Tentatively, tentatively, nothing. This is researcher's prerogative. Only the researcher will know what is good for him. So this is what you should know. So problem for sit with the guide. Formulate a problem uh, and then go for the design, structural design, how much of foundation, how many columns must be there, what is the roof, height of the roof, design, go for it, very simple, within what, two years you can complete your research after formulation of research design. So most of my students completed in two or three years because I was with them constantly sitting with them. They are, they are now nicely placed as a senior, they have come to the senior level. Even uh, 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 Shantakumar, I happen to be his guide, no problem. Within two years, you finished. Three years, you finished. Whatever it is. Many of them are occupying many high places. For one time, five judges, they wanted to do research under my guidance only. Five sitting high court judges. Why? Because they said, uh, Ambrose will be very strict, but at the same time, we can get the essence out of it. Within two years, three years. I, they, they sit with me for three months, they'll sit with me. All the judges. I see them that they sit with me. I play leave or whatever it is. Or daily, they have to come after two o'clock. They have, we have to finish their... Uh, sittings, they have to come to, to me uh, 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock or 8 o'clock. This is what we do. So that is what. So now the validity of a research much depends on the true and accurate conclusion. And the research design from this perspective is so vital. So everything is depends, every, your success of your research depends upon your research design. What is research design? Wonderful equation. I can never forget because I prepared for my LL, ML paper, Paul in a Young. 
legal research, scientific research. I don't know whether this book is available. Triple E, economic, you know, or something. Uh, Triple E publication. A plan of action, plan for con collecting and analyzing in a, in a eff economic, efficient, and relevant manner. That's all. Research design is this. That is why I said aim will be there. Oh, I want to become big shot. I cannot become a, a president of America. I can only become a president of India. That's all. So what is achievable? What is economic, efficient, relevant manner? So what is what is my capacity? Within three years period, what can I do? Within the available materials, within the available financial resources, what, what best can be got out of me? I can think I can claim, uh, I can claim, I think I, I will claim Himalayan mountain and I, I won't even touch the foothills of Himalayas. This is what is happening in most of the research. When they come to us, oh, they will say, oh. but after two years, sir, ask somebody to write, sir. I cannot write, sir. This is what normally they say. If there is any anybody who can write it. <laughs> See, I'm just giving a practical things. This is what. I, I will come, I'll, I'll calm them. Ask them to come to with me for three days. Counsel them. It's a counseling. This is what very simple. Six steps. I will be with you. You do these things. Get your assistance, typing assistance. We will do it here. Six months, they'll finish the thesis and go. Very simple matter. Because sometimes we do not know. We think it is a very big thing. I, we do not know what is inside the egg and, until it breaks out. But once you know, when it breaks up, only chicken will come and I can eat it. It is not, it is not going to be T-Rex. Then you are happy. So now, this is objectivity, reliability, and validity, and generalization. These are the essential conditions for the research design even the guides some of you will be future guides i see a lot of doctors you will doctors means you, you real doctors you, you you should not you should not kill the patient rather you, you should you should take care of their health so reliability objectivity and it is not associated with that any particular technique of data collection of any particular type of data this is very important i'll tell you one secret the more you study jurisprudence, the more you will become confused. Do you agree with me? Certainly, certainly. Similar to that, the more you listen to research methodology, the more you study research methodology, you will get confused. You will not see the light of the tunnel at all, at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> that man says this, this man says this, what says God? Okay, fine. That's it. The more you study jurisprudence, the more you study research methodology, the more you listen to a lot of uh, advisors, the more you'll get confused. Sir, that professor said like this, sir, in, the, in, a, in a PhD coursework, that professor said like this, you are the king unto yourself. You have to select your technique. It is not associated with any particular technique or data. Somebody will say, oh, the, uh, the hypothesis testing is not necessary for historical research. Even for historical research, there can be hypothetical testing. They will say, Asogar was a good man. That is the presumption. You prove that uh, Asogar was a good man by planting a uh, Trees, yes, that is the hypothesis testing. So you have to, you are the king unto yourselves. Don't be slaves of, you are, you are the researcher, you are the king unto yourselves. It is not associated with any particular technique or data collection or a pretty particular type of data. It is amalgamation of, mixture of. So ultimately we are, uh, we are, we are worried about, not with the process, about the product. You got the point? Process, product and product patent. We are not worried about the process. The process is scientific technology, controlled yourself, uh, empirical data, that's all. So which date, how you are going to collect the data, not cooking, not fabricating, not falsifying, it's a, it's a, it's, it's just ethics. I, I will not go into that things, that's it. So now interdisciplinary. I will take another five or 10 minutes, I'll finish it up. Because I, I have given you broad eye, eye, uh, eye view of this. Interdisciplinary meaning, what is it? Everything is self-disciplinary. You will take class next time. You want to invite Ambrose to take classes. You will ask somebody. You yourself can take classes on interdisciplinary research. Because now interdisciplinary research means something. They think, oh, it is, it is something. I don't know whether it is a lion or I don't know whether it is a uh, bear. I don't know whether it is, it is a, some, something. I do not know. Now you will know it is nothing but a rabbit. That's all. Interdisciplinary research is nothing but a rabbit. That's all. You can, you can master it. Discipline, particular one area. Inter, I'm just giving you the meaning so that it will be useful for the young students. Interdisciplinary, working within one single discipline. Interdisciplinary, relating to more than one branch of knowledge. Interaction of two disciplines that forges new discipline.
two, two joining together and becoming one discipline, multidisciplinary, different individuals working together, each contributing for the development of knowledge. This is, I can give the best example with reference to development of software. Somebody will be sitting in America, somebody will be sitting in Chennai, somebody will be sitting in uh, Singapore. They will join together and they develop a software. Two different people working in a common problem. And th this is also very much with, with reference to COVID. M many scientists across the uh, uh, globe, they, they, work, they were working uh, with the same common problem, COVID vaccines, etc., etc. Cross-disciplinary. We are one discipline from another. So that is what seeing uh, seeing law from sociology or seeing sociology from law. Transdisciplinary. This is also a very much uh, a, a very much current in, in the in the usage, whatever it is. Transdisciplinary in the pursuit of common understanding beyond various disciplines and perspectives. Not one thing, two things, several things. In a science and in social science, they differ. So this is what I will tell you. In science and interdisciplinary, uh, the science and uh, so, social concept, I'll come to that later. And in social science, interdisciplinary research is slightly different. I'll, I'll explain. Don't worry. Interdisciplinary. This is what the one of the oldest uh, celebrated definition, James Colin. Research, teaching our problem, solving that integrates several disciplines to create unified outcome. Uh, this is the a director of Association of for Integrated Studies. This is what 1997-2002. Enquiries which critically draw upon two or more disciplines and which lead into investigation of, of in, in, disciplinary insight, new insights. Interdisciplinary, this Brewer, 2002. Interdisciplinary generally refers to the appropriate combination of knowledge from many different specialities, especially to shed new light on actual problem. So throwing light uh, to the uh, actual problem is the concept uh, and behind uh, uh, idea. Integration. The this important thing is integration. Integration of knowledge or methods relating to one or more branch. One or more branch. To create unified outcome through synthesis approaches ideas. What is interdisciplinary research? I have broken into bits and given to you. So interdisciplinary research is nothing but knowledge or methods relating to more than one branch to create a unified outcome through synthesis of that approaches, ideas, or methods. So what is interdisciplinary approach? It stands on three pillars. One is relating to more than one branch, integrating knowledge or methods, it allows synthesis of approaches of ideas. So I know this, I know this synthesis. This is what. So we talk about chemistry. Huh? When we talk about uh, the chemistry between uh, heroine and hero, chemistry, their, their chemistry works out well. So that is what interdisciplinary research. So hero and hero in merge together. So the, 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 sometimes we say screenplay and direction merge together. Sometimes screenplay will be good, direction will be bad. So this is what normally we say. Integrating knowledge and methods and allows the synthesis of approaches and new ideas should come out. So now, Ideal requirements. These are the requirements interdisciplinary research. Research that, it, because we know research that integrates several disciplines, not one, two, three, to create a unified outcome. So what else you know? It? Need to learn. So if you are very good in this, need to learn other disciplines, vocabulary, methodology and techniques. That is why sometimes we give glossary of words. In some reports, you will find out glossary of words. For example, if I am doing, uh, I am doing uh, biotechnology, I will say, what is genetic engineering? What is gene therapy? What is uh, <coughs> what is piracy? Uh, gen, uh, piracy everything, I'll, I will say. Uh, Biopatents, biopiracy, biocolonialism. What is meant by this? Glossary words. Genet because I have studied, I, am, I have science background, I can talk about genetics. What is RNA? Uh, R, RNA, DNA, etc., etc. I can talk. Even with reference to Madam is very good in uh, health, uh, health, uh, health related loss. So today we are talking about whether vaccine should be given. Several vaccines are there. Unless you know what vaccine is there. RNA, DNA, RNA. Sometimes the dead animals, dead, 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 dead things inside that is vaccination. Then you give a, a breakup of RNA, DNA without knowing that if you are going to prescribe a law, no use. 
so that is why need to learn other disciplines vocabulary the words used methodology and techniques even in political science you should know politics so many people do not know international people do not know what is meant by geopolitical they do not know they do not know what is cold war they do not know what is unipolar they do not know what is multipolar very simple these are the terms that is what we we, we say uh, cross cultural thing when i say well, earlier i said with reference to well, uh, uh, with reference to hsd you, you human social dynamics many people do not may know they, they may not even know epistemology epistemology means knowledge there are two kinds of persons are there one is with the objectives they say truth is always truth you can't change it red is red always you can't change it they will say then they, then we have the uh, the, the subjectives they, they are skeptical they will say no 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 it is subject to change morning the sun will be red afternoon it will become white evening it will again become red they will say the same sun so this is with the reference to time so when you go to the, when you visit a tree in the in, in during the summer there won't be any leaves in the winter there will be leaves fruits will be there etc etc so the same tree different timings so this is what normally we say need to familiarize with the interdisciplinary tools and techniques this is one drawback nobody knows it what is familiarize interdis how to what extent normally we say 60 40 today we allow 60 40 60 percent law and 40 percent other subject today if you talk about interdisciplinary we are talking about interdisciplinary research with reference to many universities including uh, ambedkar law university and many universities some universities they talk about only social sciences law and uh, economics law and english interpretation of law law and they, they never allow law and physical sciences law and life sciences it has to be it has to pick up last year last week also i was in a board of studies there also they said interdisciplinary research I, then they said only social sciences among social sciences interdisciplinary research is permitted not otherwise because we don't have guide and co guide they want to be guide so they are allowing interdisciplinary research interdisciplinary research with, with reference to law and sociology law and economics law and english because the law school professors want to the non law student professors want to be a guide so they encourage why not if you are encouraging uh, this why not interdisciplinary research and life sciences physical sciences etc etc they will come they will come this is they, it needs no gift of prophecy they will come definitely they need to new theoretical perspectives many doctors are pursuing law many engineers are pursuing law why they want to make good money of our topic fine no problem with that this is very important experimental research i have not explained it experimental research is introducing a new con new uh, variant to find out the reaction experimental research you have two variants you introduce one more find out the reaction among the, that is what i said so the the, the human uh, the, the human uh, um, social uh, dynamics connecting things with new thinking that is why always you have to be on your toes so that is why one plus thing whenever i go for mood court i will i always go with new thinking that is one thing for my success many people say how oh, you are asking so many questions we never ask things i go with new thinking i i think in a uh, broad because i'm very good in i i have been trained to be good in policy level research <clears throat> that's why i said you if you are good in five subjects it's good uh, international law, constitutional law, international law, jurisprudence uh, interpretation of statutes and research methodology you you can if anybody pushes you any any group for 10 minutes without any any hesitation you can talk whether it's international trade whether, whether it is uh, 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 what you call engineering science any topic you can talk so interaction of for knowledge that is what keep your mind always open stages conceptual this is what comes uh, that's why after your 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 uh, research design has been framed conceptual what kind of uh, uh, which areas going to uh, uh, you are going to do it in connected, interconnected. And what is the technical issues? How you can do the tools? How, what kind of technical tools I'm going to use? Vocabulary, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then integration. To what extent I'm going to allow the waters of other discipline to mix with the waters of the legal field? This is what integration. How much I'm going to allow? 40 percent, 50 percent, 20 percent, etc., etc synthesis merging that is what synthesis is the ultimate aim for this particular thing 
what is idr this 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 uh, this this explains the entire my 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 uh, talk useful in addressing complex issues and questions not otherwise very simple whether is tall or short okay fine no no problem yes he is tall no problem what is the reason for his tallness what is the reason for his shortness that is why i said qualitative and quantitative research employs multiple perspectives the reason is what genetic whatever is or climatic condition or mutant etc aims at integration of disciplines for comp comprehensive understanding of the subject for the advancement of existing knowledge or creating new one goes beyond one discipline and in answering complex issues maybe with related to cognate same thing i as i told you uh, maybe uh, sometimes we say constitutional law and uh, uh, and company law constitutional law and uh, uh, and criminal law constitutional law and some other things we can do it all whereas it is that cognate fields are unrelated uh, law and uh, sociology law and economics law and science law and information technology law and biotechnology law and uh, law and uh, artificial intelligence that is what we are talking qualitative quantitative research because this is very important i, I will not explain self explain it qualitative method is exploratory research research aiming at examining whether a, an issue situation problem exists and and if so define it that is why it is called exploratory research quantitative research is for is for exploratory research not exploratory exploratory explain not explore explain research research used to determine why how an issue situation problem as it is both types may be employed for descriptive studies research that takes up describe an issue situation problem or set of attitudes in all these cases interdisciplinary research would be a suitable one and also for experimental research interdisciplinary research will be a suitable one usefulness of interdisciplinary life world studies this is very important where and all interdisciplinary research will be useful life world studies that means human life interfering with the uh, with the uh, uh, life and you, you, you uh, the world that is uh, living La human and living so life world studies complexity of the problem i told you the, when the problem is complexity for example corona it is not only a disease it is not only a, a safety measures it is not economic migrant uh, migrant uh, many issues we discussed migrant labor things uh, vaccination issues um, uh, no money etc etc and, and and also uh, most of the thing is uh, excessiveness and that is the uh, what do you call um, executive excessiveness in in tamil nadu two persons were killed at all uh, in the thing executive excessiveness people were not given decent burial so many issues corona one problem so many issues that is complexity of the problem you should have uh, interdisciplinary approach same thing with the vaccine also people say you have to waive uh, waiver of patent for vaccines is it possible you have to go only for multi uh, interdisciplinary research diversity of the life world problems with the different scientific perceptions i will come to that i have one slide i will come to that later necessity to link abstract case specific knowledge if it is necessary empirical research need to promote common good by developing knowledge and practices social auditing this is what what the law will do after 10 years this is what social auditing the impact of law on the society because the society has dictated a law the society wanted a law the social happening in the society wanted created a situation for making a law so this law what impact it will have this is what social auditing social realism sociology of law interest of the stakeholders what others are that's what i said it is uh, corona is not only doctors thing social scientist uh, and all other things uh, we call, we call this what what is it uh, the nurses etc not only doctors uh, these are the main areas where interdisciplinary thing will be useful public health biochemistry biomedical neuroscience environmental gender science especially women studies women related studies human rights example cultural studies interdisciplinary research is the uh, will be a good answer for your research good tool for your research human rights this is what already explained i will not go into this 
So now every every action of the state is judged by the human rights. That is what today we are called human rights management, right? Human resources management. Every law must have human rights touch. Uh, because time is up, I will finish it in another two minutes. Biotechnology. This is what I wanted to tell. How safe? Biotechnology has to be regulated. Am I right? Any development. If you because uh, when a development comes, the, the lawmaker will have two dilemma: whether to go for a prohibitive regime or regulatory regime. Stop it. Don't do it. Or you can do it subject to certain conditions, limitations. How safe human and for animal consumption? Environment. This is purely scientific data. Based on scientific data, you have to decide. The next one is different. How good? How good is biotechnology? How safe is bio uh, biotechnology? Scientific data. You need scientific data. Balancing social economic. For I, I'll give you an example. In Tamil Nadu, BT Brinjal, BT cotton was banned because, because of the earlier uh, chief minister. Simple reason. It will affect the local farmers. No, 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 no scientific data. Simply, whatever it is, human rights issue. How good balancing socio-economic interests, human rights issue. So this is what. So now interdisciplinary research will come. So you need scientific data. So it, that is why genetic engineering, use, using of plastics, how dangerous it is. Use, using of uh, carbon for fuels, how dangerous it is for the climate change. You need scientific data, inputs, all these issues because it is a life world problem or social, otherwise uh, human social dynamics i do something it will have a consequence on the society so that is that is what uh, hsd human social dynamics ability to anticipate what will my action will do so today carbon emission i have to i have to pull down the car i have to uh, bring down the carbon emission i have to look for clean energy green energy mitigation so what is climate change mitigation and also adaptation so mitigation means already it is there, you are bringing it down. Adoption, you are changing yourself. So for these, all these things, life world studies, you need interdisciplinary research. For human, for based on human social dynamics, you need interdisciplinary research. Challenges to idea. Madam, two minutes, last slide. Current system favors only independent investigator. That means it is like test cricket. Only specialist are there. Not the all-rounder. All-rounder is idea. All-rounder, we don't need. They need an opener. They need a uh, batsman. They need a wicketkeeper. They need a bowler. So current system favors only an independent in investor. That's why I said, my professor said, no, 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 that is not a law, law research at all. It is, don't go for interdisciplinary research. Today, I am advising my students to go for interdisciplinary. UGC insists on that. Many projects are interdisciplinary. That is why socio-legal things. What is the impact of this act? Uh, on social conditions in particular district that will be the uh, project for you uh, yes madam yes madam no madam okay i'm, I'm doing the last thing uh, my my voice is hearing no okay i'll, I'll come down oh, last slide or last but what but anyway, even without the slides, I can speak. Okay. Is it okay now? No. Is it audible? No. You are audible, sir. Oh, okay, fine. So now, I'm sorry, man. I think now it's audible. So I'm not. I've stopped. Yes. We've got two more slides. So we are. We don't have tools for this. We don't have. We have research methodology books. We don't have research methodology books prescribing tools and also peer reviewing this interdisciplinary research. That is also another problem. Very few people are there. They say. They say. Uh, we are. We are very good interdisciplinary research. But most of the time, they, 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 they talk about only interpretation of 
acts. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. So uh, I think I have exhausted my time. Uh, thanks for your, within quotes, uh, <laughs> patient hearing. Otherwise, it is not there. If any questions are there, I will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much, sir. Uh